since in the previous videos we have already looked at how to check for regression coefficients and testing individual coefficients, we will take a look at how to find confidence interval for these uh, regression coefficients in this video. So we begin with the fact that uh, we know that the error term follows uh, normal distribution with uh, the error term being ideally in uh, we know the error term is independent and identically distributed and follows a normal distribution with uh, mean 0 and uh, variance sigma square. From that it implies that the observed variable y which also tends towards uh, the error term has a, is uh, identically distributed and independent and has a mean term of beta naught plus uh, beta j xj summation and the variance term of sigma square. Since uh, beta hat is a linear combination of observations which are y, beta hat has a term which is a linear combination of y. This also follows a normal distribution with the uh, mean and uh, covariance with matrix. And this is given by sigma square x transpose x whole inverse. Marginal distribution of any regression, uh, regression coefficients beta j is normal with uh, mean beta j and variance uh, sigma square cjj. CJJ is the diagonal term of uh, x transpose x or inverse, which is one of the matrices uh, which you encounter in the beta term. So consequently, uh, you know that uh, if you have the variance term, you can find out the uh, sampling distribution, which is given by the term that you're trying to estimate minus the observed term divided by the variance or the standard error term. The above term is distributed as a t distribution with the n minus p decrease of n is the number of observations, p is the number of regressions. So, since you have the sampling distribution, this translates to finding a confidence interval, which is uh, the estimated term plus or minus the precision term and the standard error. So we, we usually define this as uh, 100, 1 minus alpha, 1 minus alpha is uh, the level of significance. We define the above. Hundred minus one minus alpha times confidence into one. So alpha is if it is phi, then it's a ninety-five percent confidence interval. So in this video, broadly we found out the confidence interval for a regression coefficient in uh, multi-linear multi regression.